coming to you today to show you basically how I curl my hair. The name of this hair is She. Um, I have just curled this side and this is how I've been wearing it the last couple of days. Kind of like a loose curl. But I have a graduation tonight and I know it's going to fall throughout the day. And right now it's like about 1 o'clock. So um, if it doesn't fall how I want to by tonight then I might just leave it like this or I might just finger comb through it but today I'm just going to show you how to achieve a little bit of tighter curls using a flat iron. Now this she hair I did get a 10 inch and an 8 inch um does have a temperature warning on the pack which I do not remember the temperature warning but I'm pretty sure I'm above that on my flat iron right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started um, with this. I did do a little bit of leave out um, because I'm transitioning right now in the front of my hair. The new growth isn't as bad as in the middle and the back. So I figured I could get away with it. It was supposed to be an invisible part, but when I did it, it was an epic fail. So I just redid it on the stocking cap and just did a little bit of leave out. And I may do a video for you guys showing you how I did do this quick leave using a stocking cap with the leave out. So I am going to go ahead and get started and show you guys how to curl the hair. When I start off curling the hair, I place the flat iron kind of close to the top, about right here. And then <clears throat> I pull it down a little bit and roll it until the hair flips over the curling iron like this. And I pull it down some more and I basically pull like an inch kind of slowly and then I roll it up. And I just keep doing the same thing. Pull slowly about an inch and roll. And that's how the curl came out. So again, take it at the top. And I like rolling mine away from my hair or away from my face. So turn it until the hair flips over. Pull about a half an inch to the inch. Roll it back up. If it comes like down a little bit, I don't too much worry about it because I am doing more tighter curls than loose curls. So it's going to be all over. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to finger comb it out or not.
put that down. Ten inches usually my go-to, and for this install, since I knew I was gonna need two packs of hair, um, because I, I usually only do one when I do a sew-in, and I just give a ten inch. But because I did two packs of hair, I kind of switched it up and did a ten inch and an eight inch, because usually I do the same length throughout. But I do like it, and I like where it falls, and I don't know if I decide to do it anytime soon. I find. A reasonable price I may try to bump it up and go a little bit further and do like a 12 or a 14 inch and something um just to make it fall a little lower because I do like this style this is really cute and let me see I have about five hours to the graduation so I don't plan on putting any spruce on it so it should hold up pretty well so thanks for watching and I hope you guys are able to accomplish this style if it may be something that you're interested in. So thanks. Have a great day. Alright guys, I just wanted to come to you to show you day four of the curls that I most recently did. Um, these were the curls that I did, um, the tight curls that I did for the graduation that I went to. Um, I usually sleep on my left side, which is surprising to me because this side actually still has more curl to it than the right side of my head. Um, so today I just scooped it back and you know lift this side so it's still kind of wavy. 